What is up, guys? Welcome to Lords of the Fallen. Um, I'm having to do this little kind of quick intro because uh, this is after me making the video. Um, the game on on a PC port, I'm playing it through Epic on PC port. It's it's rough. So um, the game crashed, I think, three or four times, if not more. I think it crashed officially three times. Um, I tried to co-op with someone, just kind of run around, help them out, see how it would work, and it just that became really rough. I died right off the bat off of something weird. I don't know if I, I don't know what happened. You guys see it. Uh, this guy was, he had a lamp and he was going down in this water area and I went down with him and I just frowned, I died. It was just odd because he was holding up the lamp and everything. But so I don't know if that was a glitch or what. And then of course it crashed when I was playing with someone else. And um, it just runs rough. The game is cool and it's fun. It looks great. But they, 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 um, they, the, the developer obviously is going to have to do some work and patch it up. So I'm probably not going to play the game again until they patch it. If I wasn't recording it, I would play it. I would just put it offline and play it. But uh, I'd like to play online. I'd like to go in and help people. I love doing that stuff in this game. Um, I'm not necessarily an invader, but I do like to go in and help with bosses. You know, I like to go in and beat a boss and then kind of go back to the lamp get called in, help people beat the boss. That's how I kind of learn it and help people out and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, by the way, if you've ordered the Deluxe Edition Digital and you haven't got a chance to play it and you're watching this by <laughs> by any kind of chance, uh, you happen to be kind of stumbling upon the video. Um, this is the Dark Crusader class. Uh, that's the armor. It looks a little bit different than the standard armor. Standard armor is like a silver. Um, if you pre-order that, the deluxe, the digital deluxe, or the deluxe version of it, you get that class. On top of that, you get different colors you can make your armor. So I think in the video I show how to do that. Uh, if not, you can do the settings on your, you know, on your, on your, on your character. But uh, um, if it's on there, I'll leave it on there so you guys can see it. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm, um, I like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna kind of probably won't, I won't record this game again or play it again until it's, uh, it's patched, which I'm sure it will be. These developers seem to be uh, very passionate about the game, and the last thing they need is a PC port problem. So, but I'm sure on, like, PlayStation and Xbox, it probably looks fine. It's probably just PC. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you on the next uh, episode. Oh, real quick. Sorry. Side note. Um, I recorded... There is like an art digital art book, art book. God, Lord, I can't speak. There's a digital art book and uh, it comes with the digital deluxe. I go through the entire thing. I was going to make it a separate video, but I'm just going to put it on the end of this video. So you'll hear me talking about like, hey, I'm going to make this its own video. I had to scrap that because of what happened because I, I recorded that before I even played the game. So uh, anyway, if you hear that and kind of sounds like I'm going back and forth, that's what it is. I recorded this before I did the game, didn't realize it was going to have the problems, and I'm just deciding to kind of make this all one video. Anyway, enjoy. See you in the next episode. Forgive me, and steer this weapon of deliverance to a worthier servant than I. Crusader, 
What is up, guys? Welcome to Lords of the Fallen. It's going to be, uh, obviously, part one. Welcome, guys. If you're a uh, fan of the Soul stuff, you guys know what, already know what this is. If you're not, this is an action RPG. Um, and these games are meant to be, they say difficult, but they're meant to, like, kind of have you overcome obstacles and things like that. Usually, the worlds are very, very, like, unique. They're very, uh, the maps are put together well as far as, um, uh, the design of them and everything like that. This one has, it has, looks like it's got more of, like, a grim gothic kind of uh, feel to it so uh, anyway and uh, when you start these games you typically pick a class kind of how you want to build your character the, the class matters but it kind of doesn't it really just kind of matters at first um so we're going to go over all the classes and uh we'll pick what we're going to do i already know what i'm going to do but uh this right here is the, the first one it's a uh, dark crusader this is the pre-order class if you do not pre or this is the sorry the deluxe edition pre-order class if you didn't order the deluxe edition and you pre-ordered it, you still you won't get this class. You'll you'll get it if you I guess if you play through the game and uh, maybe do like a uh, like a quest line or something like that. I, I don't know how that's going to go if you get it when you beat the game, but um, you know the people that spent an extra ten bucks got this class right off the bat. So this is one I'm going to go with, but let's uh, let's go through all of them. This one seems to be a oh god, let me read it real quick. Physically powerful class. Yeah, it's more like a strength. Strength, Vitality, Endurance class, yeah, okay, Radiance, okay. So this, this this guy here is basically how I like to build my characters, or starting to anyway. I used to build more of like a balanced quality build characters. Um, now more into like, like Miracle slash Strength build, so um, this guy's going to be the way for me to go. That's kind of what it looks like, like a Strength, almost like a Miracle Strength build. Um, we have a Hallow Knight. And on the bottom right, the body type, if you've never played this game before, the body type, uh, you can just switch from man to woman. I think A is woman and B is man. But uh, the Hollow Knight looks like more of a uh, balanced type build. Yeah, it's a very balanced build. The War Wolf. Udra... Ranger? Werewolf? This has got to be the strength. Yeah, this is the strength. Pure strength build. It actually has some Radiance and Inferno, which is pretty cool. You can use some stuff, like some, uh, some uh, spells right off the bat. It looks to me like throwables are going to be very good in the game, whether you, you, you uh, have consumable throwables, or you have a bow and arrow, or you have uh, fireballs, or whatever. It looks like those would be very useful, especially in the game. Partisan's going to be your, it looks like your balance class, your uh, quality build class. Morstead Infantry. I don't think many people are going to be using the Morstead. The Infantry. This one is a kind of agility, like a tanky, tankier agility build. A lot of, I think I, I can see a lot of people using this, especially first-time players, because of the spear. Spear. I hate to say this without sounding offensive, because there's nothing wrong with spears, but like spears and harbor halberds are typically kind of starting like newbie weapons. But there's nothing wrong with heroes <laughs> if you're a a vet using it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. That's it, they're great weapons. Uh, the Black Feather Ranger. This looks like your typical, like, assassin or something. Agility build. Yeah, it looks like a, something out of Bloodborne. Which is pretty cool. I almost, I was considering going with this one. But the, but the pre-order, you gotta get the pre-order one. Uh, Exiled Stalker. Oh, this guy the dual blades. This one looks fucking cool. This one looks pretty good. You're gonna be like fast and in and out. This one looks like it might be really, really good. Creature. This is obviously gonna be the miracle build. Yep. I like his fucking weapon. Jesus, that's a cool. But that's probably this is probably the guy I would do if I didn't have the other classes. To be honest, if I didn't have the the pre-order, this is probably the guy I would do. The big ass barbed wire hammer. It's fucking ridiculous. I just don't understand the purpose of the barbed wire, like like the barbs on the handle. You're just gonna be stabbing your handle. You just push forward with it. I don't know. I mean, that that weapon doesn't make sense to me. And uh, the the pirate cultist, obviously the pyromancer. Well, that's fun. Cool. It's like a scarecrow or something. And the weapon looks like a spear. Okay. So we're going to go with the Condemned, I'm not going to do, fuck that, it's just a fucking stripped down guy and I think he has like two buckets or something on his hands, it looks terrible. I, I, 
I have no interest in doing that one. Alright, so let's build our character. Let's name him. Uh, let's go Bald Derek. Bald Derek, that sounds like a cool name. Confirm. Alright, let's play. Law, the latest receiver of his grace. Great potential dwells within you, doubtless, for you to be chosen thusly. And so does Aureus' wisdom guide my hand in the bestowment of this subsequent boon. Your flesh has been made sacrosanct with the mark of the Dark Crusaders. Prove yourself worthy of this gift. Seek me in the bowels of the bridge. Our work is of the greatest import. fuck was that? Bronze tent. How do I change my tent? I get with the green and the red looks good. Let's go red. I wonder if I can do it to my sword. The game's running weird. Let me clue you do it to your weapon. You got really bored. <laughs> I somehow have to get used to how much he walks because he takes like an extra step forward. All right, so when you're playing that, just get used to that, or just. Be mindful of that. He's there. Great skull hero. Oh, okay, so it's like one of those souls you pop it. What are, what are the what are the items that we get? This is the pre-order stuff. A pair of brimstones heal over time. Plus blah, 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 man, he'll heal over time. Restore mana. And that's your heal, okay. There we go, all right. So far, this feels different. It feels different than like a Souls game. It feels more, uh, oh god, it, hard to explain. It feels uh, faster, but 
clunkier. Does that make sense? But I don't. It's kind of. Um, I don't know if they have to. I think it's the PC port. It's not running the best. You may not, may or may not see what I'm seeing. Good job, right? He's not chanting. I'll sprint with LS. Oh my god, Lord, I'm holding the button now. Alright. Sprint. There we go. Open your inventory with this button. Like the slot you want to modify. What the fuck is that? Okay. Understand that the camera speed is very slow. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Moss indicate points of interest in Umbral. Oh shit, okay. So we can't go through there. So obviously, we obviously have to kill whatever's feeding that. And look at that, it opens up. Okay, I don't like that combo. I'll probably never use that. Additionally, melee stances can be switched. I can't go into range. I can't throw that thing. The camera feels um, a little choppy.
Block into an enemy. LT, then right trigger. Okay. Okay, I guess I kill some butter. Soul Flaying enemy consumes a Soul Flake charge. Okay, so you see these blisters, you gotta get rid of them. That blister, pop, pop, that blister, baby. This guy's fucking it hard. Am I doing this right? I don't even know if I'm doing this shit right, to be honest. So play this asshole. Makes it more dangerous, okay. Okay, cool. So you find those things, I guess, around the world, and then you can get in and out of the umbral world. <laughs> look, look now. I can go nothing. It's beautiful.
This game definitely is going to take some getting used to. I think I'm going to struggle with it, to be honest. I really do. I think I'm going to struggle with this game. Because of the movement's a little awkward for me. It made you, honestly, it's, it's, playing this, I, it's great, but it, it it makes you appreciate FromSoft games. I'm, I'm going to be blunt. <laughs> Only two thousand. What does multiplayer work? So as this game goes on, the more comfortable I get with it, I'll, I'll use less microphone. Just kind of go through the game, but as for now, we will. Block by holding LB, all right? Three attacks by pressing, okay. Okay. Right. Oh, there we go. This is the boss right here, the guy that I, I think looks kind of kind of goofy. I don't like the way he looks. His weapons are cool, but his dragon's badass, but... I'm not good with like, oh, okay, you're supposed to die. <laughs> I'm not good with like not locking on. Some people complain not locked on. I, I don't know how they do that shit. They're better than me. Yeah, this game's running rough. It's not the PC and it's not my settings. I just think the game runs rough.
Uh oh, I think we have a crash. Yeah, this PC port's not good. I mean, they'll fix it eventually. It's just, God, it's rough. Suck the life out of you. I can rest and come back and start that again because that was weird as long. This game just feels wonky. Oh, well, let's see if I can uh, help somebody. Let's see if we can help someone with this boss. Let's see it. If someone's asking for help. <laughs> I don't think it'll happen because it looks like they're being called in somewhere. Oh shit, look at this. I wonder how this is going to run. Or if it's going to run at all. Yeah, this is rough. I might just do the intro of this game and then Put it down so they patch it. There we go. I don't even know where I'm at. I'm gonna play with this guy. Looks like he's just trying it. This person's just trying it out. I think they're trying to get me back up. Yeah, this is, uh... Not running, running good. Oh shit, here we go. Beautiful. Oh, I'm 
everybody go? Yeah, this is rough. Oh, God, this is rough. Maybe up here? I'm not sure how to help this guy or what I do. You know, if I, what I contribute to this part of the area, I don't know. I haven't been here. First of all, go up. some souls. Some currency. Maybe that. Maybe I just knocked this down. I think I've got a... Sorry about the camera, guys. Sorry. What? Oh, shit. I wonder if I should go up down there. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's like a boss. See history repeat over and over. Yeah. If you don't want yeah, to, I might, uh, I might, I might wait for this game to be patched before I, before I really hit hard. Make use of this. The vestige seed. Locate number of flower bed while it's stand while standing on it. Grow a vestige seedling. Okay, this is where you can like make your own. Uh, I've given you more lamp or than I bonfire or whatever. From now on, find your own way and stay out of mine. Hoping I can reset and come back in. I'm on my hills I've back. I've given you more umbral from now on. Find your own way. Well, I got the cool, the cool arm. Mine. That's fucking dope. This must be the area that I'm getting ready to go into. Because otherwise I don't think I'd have access to help people out here. Can I grow a vestige seedling here? No? about like up here this must be the spot right here how is this all white like that maybe he hasn't he didn't color it Yeah, this game's kind of running rough. He never did his seedling. 
He never did his seedling. Like he should put a seedling like right here. So he just smashed me until I die. Oh, well, I think he maybe hit that guy. Maybe hit that. Maybe that guy killed him. Or he got killed by that. I think the enemy killed him, and that's why I have a heal left. I didn't have a heal before. He's trying. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's... He's trying. I think he needs to get out of the Umbral world. Find a way out of the Umbral world, then he can get me in. That's probably what he needs to do. Kind of bit thing X to see if maybe I can use the heal to resurrect or something, but no. Yeah, that's what he needs to do. He needs to find a way out of this world version of it. He probably just doesn't know it yet. I don't, I don't know. I'm just guessing. That looks like a boss arena right there. Yeah, it looks like the enemies just keep respawning. I don't know if it necessarily gets harder. Maybe it get harder over time, but it looks like the enemies just keep respawning in here. Yeah, he needs to go back. He needs to go back to where that NPC was. He needs to build that vestige. I don't know if he did it or not. I, I didn't see him do one. Beautiful. Things get the fuck out of this world. Much gonna get hard soon. He needs to just go up in over there and see if there's something right there. Maybe there's something right over there he can use. We're gonna lose connection, maybe. Yeah, this game's been rough, man. No other way to say it. I knew it would run rough, especially on co-op, and it looks like that person's probably not from this country from where I'm at. So that, that would make it doubly hard. So the fact that this crashed again is not a big surprise. Okay, so on this part, I have to I have to enter the new Umbral world. So, Umbral world, anyway. So, what I'm gonna do? 
Okay, so what I'll probably end up doing... Alright, so that, that's it. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna end the first video, just kinda keep it short. I'm probably gonna wait until they patch this game, to be honest. Uh, I don't think it's fair to anybody watching, watching it fucking act up and stutter and, and stuff like that, I just... Um, the game seems cool, but I think I'm gonna have to wait to see what they do with it, but, uh... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. And I don't know, right now I can't really recommend it, especially on PC, because... the way it runs. It's cool as shit looking, but doesn't run good. So anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed everything, and I'll, I'll see you when I when the game gets patched. Let's check this out. What's up, guys? Welcome to, uh... Hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. I am recording. All right, perfect. Beautiful. Okay, good. Welcome to Lords of the Fallen. It's gonna be, uh... It was like a, uh... The Souls-type game. If you don't know about Dark Souls or, you know, From Software, they're, uh... They're action RPGs. They're known to be kind of, uh... They say difficult, but it's more like, uh... Kind of, um... Overcoming adversity, things like that. So, uh... This is kind of a action RPG, so if you guys like, uh, you know, grim kind of night type stuff, you got probably like this. But uh, let's let's check out the uh, art book here. This is from the um, from the digital uh, deluxe edition. It's like ten bucks more. But uh, so this is pretty cool. It's like a print. It's like a paintings almost. These would be cool to have like in like a fucking like a gaming room or something. Full screen, there we go. Oh, this is cool. Now, I will say this. I, I, I'm i concerned the game's not going to run great on the PC port at first. I'm concerned I'm going to have issues. Um, So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I got this game through the Epic Store. So, I want to see how that goes. I'm trying to maybe wean myself off of Steam. Not completely, but... The yeah, epic seems to be pretty good. It's pretty dope. So yeah, if you haven't gotten the the the, the digital deluxe edition or whatever, this is just what it's going to come with. It also comes with um, a new class, um, the Dark Crusader class, or I guess we, I guess, I guess you can get the Crusader Dark Crusader class if you um, if you don't pre-order it, but you have to open it later, I guess, through a quest or whatever. Um, it's almost kind of like what they did with Demon Souls, where it was like they gave you that, I think it was a ring or a weapon that made your life a lot easier to get the Platinum Trophy. Which I did not get. I went and got it the fucking hard way, but... It's pretty fucking dope. That one's cool. I like that one. I bet you can go online and get these like, like screenshots for your um, for your PC, which I might end up doing if I enjoy the game, which I'm sure I will. I'm like I said, I'm I'm more concerned about the port, the PC port, than anything. I almost got this for PS5, but I was like, you know what? I got a new graphics card and new um, new chip and everything. It should run this game very very well, like without a problem at all. In fact, when I did the auto settings and had everything at ultra, I just put everything down to high, and uh, so the frames and stuff like that would be good at first. Because I don't, I don't think there's a ton of difference between ultra, and I think I left one like the textures on ultra. Other than that, everything's on high. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping it runs well. These are fucking dope ass pictures. Who the fuck's that guy? Yeah, I'm uh. I'm excited about the game. I'm excited about this game. I'm going to take my time with it because it looks like it's going to be... This looks like kind of like Dark Souls 2 where it's like hard to get to the boss and once you get to the boss, the bosses... Uh, I've seen a few of the bosses. I've seen some gameplay of like fighting cowboy and stuff. The bosses don't look too bad. I haven't studied them or nothing like that. I just see... I actually see them get to the boss and I just kind of fast forward through it because I want to figure the bosses out and everything on my own. But uh, I was more just kind of curious on how the gameplay looked and everything like that. Well, that's fucking cool. That's Homer right there. I like that. 
Yeah, I don't know what kind of build I'm gonna do in this one. I usually do like a like a like my last my Elden Ring build was really good. It was like a strength holy build. Um which I might do that because because a lot of times the miracles like buff you and stuff like that, you can buff yourself and everything. Uh, but in this game, I'd like to almost do like blood. Like I have, I have those um, spiked maces in um, Elden Ring. I'd love to do a build like that in this game. It would be fucking cool, like dual spiked maces or something. Oh, look at that! It's fucking evil. Holy shit! That must be a boss. That looks fucking badass. It must like spin around and whip those things at you or throw them at you or something. That's pretty cool. And that fucking swords though. That's a really cool looking boss. Yeah, this game has got some nice art to it. It really does. Oh, she, that, that, she's cool looking. That's a cool looking boss right there. I got like the bloody knights and shit. Look at that. Very good coloring. Yeah, really good designs. Like, really, I, I tell they put a lot of effort and time. Look at that. The fucking face opens up. It's like that frog boss in Dark Souls too. The frog is a boss, the big ass frog, and you can't really do any damage to it. It opens up his mouth and a face fucking comes out, and you hit the face. Pretty cool. Dude, I'm telling you, Dark Souls Two needs to be remade. That game needs to absolutely be remade. Uh, they need to do a, a few things with it, make the combat better. Obviously, you know the graphics better, but they need to redo the enemy placement. The enemy placement's too fucking douchebaggy in it. It's not a good experience in New Game Plus. It's just. Fucking pain in the dick. Especially on the um, the DLCs are just a, it just makes you <laughs> I actually it was like I was like on New Game Five and it went through my uh, if you guys watched my uh my playthrough of it. Um I'm not sure if I have any DLC up. I have a few of them recorded, but I was just like there's parts in it where I'm like, fuck this, it's not even fun anymore. <laughs> this is a really good design, it's like really, really like top notch designs. Look at this. I mean, this is just just fucking badass. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these just grim ass weapons I probably have in this game. Look at that. You know this 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 game looks a lot like the 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 designs of the enemies look look a lot like um God, what's that what's that what's that game called? It's a side scrolling game. Blasphemy. This has a blasphemy look to me to it. Like if blasphemy was like a 3D game. This is really cool. Are those three different types of that one enemy? Or is it just, I don't know. Look at that flail. Oh, God. Imagine you get a hit in the top of the head with that thing. Oof. It looks fun. These things look like a fucking pain in the ass. Like, I bet you they slither all around. They're hard to hit. They're shooting you with that. Fuck, fuck that boss. I mean, fuck those enemies already. That guy looks cool. Like Hellraiser. He looks like he's a badass. Look at that. I've seen this boss. This boss is pretty cool. It's like in a like it's like in a almost like a cavern. And um that almost looks like a boss area that'd be in like the Jedi game, Star Wars Jedi game. But um It's like it's like a blood like the bottom's got like blood all over it and he shoots up poison. It just looks like a gross ass fucking enemy. That guy's fucking insane. Look at that. Oh, is that a two per two boss fight? Two person boss fight? That hammer looks like it's got like holy damage on it or something. That can't be the only part about that weapon. Uh oh. She looks like an NPC or something, obviously. I'm curious to see if this game's gonna have DLC to it. I'm sure it is. I think it's gonna be pretty successful. Look at that. You know, I don't know if I like the design. Yeah, this fucking big hunkering boss, and you just like the arms come out, and I got, I don't know, I gotta see how that plays. I'm not sure if I like the design of that. That's fucking cool right there. One of his arms are all decayed. It looks like uh, the guy from Sekiro, the your dad. 
like a night version. This guy looks like a fuck your day up if he wants to. That's a cool um, armor set there. That's a cool looking enemy there. Another cool looking enemy there. I mean, they're hitting home runs with these. They really look at that. That's fucking dope. That's like a Bloodborne look. Actually, you know what I'm thinking about? I think I might make this a separate video. I think I'm going to make this a separate video. I, don't, I'm, I was going to put it in the front of the uh, the game, but I think I'm just going to make this a separate video. For anybody who just doesn't really care about this. But I think this is pretty cool. Like, especially if you didn't order it, you can just kind of see what's in it. Save yourself 10 bucks. Yeah, I mean, everything is designed really well. Look, look at that. Fuck. I don't know. I just think that's cool right there. Yeah, this is just, this is really, really done well as far as the art. Twin blades, shield, twin knives, rider mode. Okay. Oh, that's the, I don't know. You know, it's funny. The only, the only enemy that I don't think is designed great, that I don't like the look of it, is actually this guy here. This fight here, he's got, he looks like a, like a clown with like dreads. It's weird. It's just a weird design. Especially for like a game in this kind of like era. It's just odd. I think that's it. There we go. That's it. Let's go back. Umbral World. There we go. Yeah, this will be a separate video. I almost guarantee I'll make, make this a quick separate video. In case you guys want to see it. Full screen. The Umbral World's a cool idea. I, I just... Um, I feel like this game is is really made for like hardcore soul fans. I mean, because like you're going in the in and out of these two different worlds, you got to know when to do it and everything like that. I just think this game can be really confusing if you've never played a game like this before. But I do think it's going to be very good. Looks like, like I said, it looks like they really, really have a passion for these kind of games and want to make a really great Souls like game. And I like that they're embracing that it's a Souls-like. They're not like, oh, it's our own thing. We're just trying to... No, they're like, we like fucking Dark Souls, and we're going to make a Souls-like game. <laughs> That's a cool-looking enemy right there. Look at that thing. It's like a siren head. It's like a nightmare siren head. Or siren, whatever the... Uh, is it siren head? Yeah. It's like the alternate world in uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Look at his eggs with the guy balls and shit on them. It's kind of weird. See, I, I don't know if the enemies in this area are going to be harder or if they're just going to keep spawning until you kind of get out of the world or whatever. That's my guess. My guess is the enemies aren't necessarily going to be harder. Could be a combination of both. My guess is the fucking enemies are just going to keep spawning on you until you figure out a way to get out of the world or in and out of the world or whatever. I haven't done like a woman mage in a while. And I'm, I was leaning toward that, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it's going to make a big fucking hard hitting guy. Especially with the, um, I'm going to use that class, the pre-order class. We'll go through all of them though. Really cool, unique stuff, man. Really, really creative. Like, it's like, it can't be easy to make a, create a whole world like this. It just cannot, from scratch, it just cannot. I mean, they're not copying something else. They're making it from complete scratch, which I'm sure took a while. <laughs> 